public hearing item. This is REZ 2023-07, Project Biking. This involves 69 acres. It's on Hunt Road. It is currently M2 and conservation, and the request is for M2 and conservation, and this will have city utilities. Mr. Dillard. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. Again, this is a 69-acre property. However, the actual request, as you see here outlined in red, is for approximately 4.73 acres of that conservation zoning to be rezoned to M2. The property was delineated uh, recently for the actual wetland boundaries, and the request is to pick up those 4.73 acres for M2 properties. It is within an industrial activity center, as it was part of the perimeter uh, west industrial park, which is also in the urban service area, and as you discussed, industrial activity center character area, and proposed city utilities. The wetlands here, again, were done from the 1983 map from the uh, with National Wetland Inventory, which our ULDC does address, but it also recognizes the fact that these are generalizations and it does not supplant the, uh, the actual delineation of the wetlands. As you see here, this is the property in question from the National Wetlands Inventory database. And here is an actual delineation of the 4.73 acres requesting to be rezoned. Again, just another aerial there, more or less the south side of that, or the west side of that road. <clears throat> Planning Commission recommended approval of this one. Staff finds it consistent with the comprehensive plan and uh, existing land use matters. Any questions for Mr. Dillon? Is that just for infrastructure or, I mean, they're not, we're not putting an industrial development building on that portion of the property, right? It, it is for potential development through the industrial authority for that industrial area. And basically, really all it amounts to is to, to get more construction acreage or usable acreage. They're just delineating the wetlands and adding that portion that was previously in conservation into the MT. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Dillard. 